Pittsburgh's Planning Commission has given the green light to a new hospital in the city's uptown neighborhood. The UPMC Vision and Rehabilitation Hospital is dedicated to restoring sight itself. The healthcare system convinced Dr. Jose Alain Sahel to relocate from Pit Paris to Pittsburgh to build the program here. Dr. Sahel is chair of ophthalmology and director of the UPMC Eye Center at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC. Lawton Snyder is CEO of the Eye and Ear Foundation of Pittsburgh. And welcome. Good to have you here both. Great to have you. Hello. And welcome to Pittsburgh. Although if you've been here a couple of years now, right? A couple right? of years already. Happy to be here. Yeah, so you split you split time and some of your professional interests between Pittsburgh and Paris, but you could have looked at a lot of different places in the United States. What what brought you here to Pittsburgh to do this work? So it's a combination of family reason, but also I was very impressed with the university. The medical school ranks very high in, in the world, actually. And the UPMC system is amazing with its vertical integration and the ambition of the system to deliver care to everyone. So I thought it was a good fit for what I wanted to develop as a next uh, step in my career. Did you know going into it, you're going to get your own hospital, basically, as part of the deal? No, I, I, I really was not even dreaming of that. Really? I, I had this ideas about what could be done and I proposed some improvement but then the senior management thought we should do even better. They visited Paris, they saw what I had done here and they really thought that it was an opportunity to build something which would make a strong difference uh, worldwide actually. Yeah and so what I and your foundation has been around for 30 years or so so right. you've been fostering great research here in Pittsburgh for a long time. What was it about this opportunity that really captured everybody's imagination? Well it, it's really just working with you know one of the top leaders in the world in the field and, and the opportunity to really see, uh, you know, a, a multinational collaboration put to, put to work in a very positive way for everybody in Pittsburgh. And uh, since we have been doing this a long time, we really could see that this could take us places in vision science that we've never been before. Hmm. So we see it as a once in a lifetime opportunity that really doesn't come around that often and won't come around again for us here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know your specialty is the retina, and there has been progress made. I know my mom had macular degeneration, but, you know, it, it, it has sort of one trajectory and pathway. Is there real hope? Or are there real breakthroughs happening in there this are many, space? There are many. So there were new drugs developed for age related macular degeneration a couple of years ago, and there are new drugs being developed, but we are also now entering the age of regenerative medicine with gene therapy, stem cells, prosthetics with artificial vision. So we also, because the vision is really located in the brain eventually, also working on how we can improve visual perception in people with low vision, how we can help them we cope with the disease. So it's really, and we are entering a new age of restoring vision. And, and, and hope around the optic nerve itself and just being able to regenerate that, that, that nervous system? So, so this is a very strong program here actually. This is one of the assets in Pittsburgh. They're working on optic nerve regeneration as part of uh, a global initiative on uh, regenerating that. So we are working on, the, actually we had a meeting two, days, uh, two weeks ago with the leaders worldwide uh, in Pittsburgh uh, thinking about what are the next steps in that. So this is one of the main areas. Currently this is one of the barriers, reconnecting the eye and the brain, but we are getting there. Well, and I think about connecting it all the way back to one of the last great scientists to move to Pittsburgh was Tom Starzl, started organ transplantation, which was be the beginning of our pathway in regenerative medicine. The dots all connect here in a lot of ways. They do, and I think that you know, um, it does start with great leadership and someone who's a leader in the field. Um, and definitely, Dr. Sahel, it, it's it's clear that he is um, one of the the top retina specialists in in the country now and also in the world. And, and he developed a great um, uh, model for care in Paris that um, really is exciting for us to look at as a model that we'll be able to use here. Uh, they developed a very ambitious uh, research initiative there and grew it within 10 years to have. Uh, an army of scientists of over 300 scientists working in basic research and 200 scientists working in clinical research that work together to try to bring new uh, answers for vision um, for people with vision loss and uh, we're, what's also great about this arrangement is we get to work with them still <laughs> that collaboration exists and Dr. Sahel is leading um, the the team here to be very um, uh, complementary to the science that's going on there. So what is this facility going to allow you to do that maybe can't be done currently? In Pittsburgh. So first it will be really the hub for integrating uh, cutting-edge care, existing technologies for imaging the eye and also new therapies, new 
to cataract surgery, new retina surgery, new lasers, but also because we'll have a teaching platform and all the clinical research and the basic research, making sure that any new therapy, any new initiative will immediately be tested and brought to the patient as long as it is safe and efficient. So it's really integrating in a vertical integration all the possibilities from question to addressing the question with the right scientists, bringing the answers back to the clinic, testing that, and also integrating industry, potentially creating jobs in the area with all of that. So this will be the hub, but we realize that people may not want all to come for this, to this place if they have something which doesn't require to come to a very complex hospital. So this there will be a hub and spoke approach with many sites all across Pennsylvania to deliver cutting edge care where people live, improving telemedicine, for example, to make sure that people can be monitored from home or from uh, wherever they are, to make sure that if they need to be treated on site, they can. If they need to come to us, they can also. Yeah. And we also we are entering the era of connected medicine with applications to follow your vision, to follow your care, your, your status of health. So this will be part of what we are going to do in, to implement in that model. Like sooner or later, an app for that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It won't replace human beings. It won't replace, uh, in many cases, you have to be to get into more complex care, sure. but it will help a lot to solve many of the access issues. Wow, fabulous to see our region kind of at the epicenter of, of, of this revolution in, in vision restoration. Dr. Sell, thank you so much. Thank Great you. to have you here. Lawton Snyder okay. from the Eye and Ear Foundation. A pleasure. Congratulations. Best, best of luck as this move forward. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And when we return, more than a glimmer of hope for our Pittsburgh Breast Cancer Foundation, thanks to 100 plus men, we'll find out about their new approach to philanthropy and how it's already helping to Save lives. Who stayed?